The box aren't the only South Africans in town. The Sito Bellum Teto Primary School Choir from KwaZulu Natal are also in Eastbourne. It's a fundraising trip, and one of their stops was at Eastbourne College. This traditional English public school has played host to the Springboks for the last week. And according to the principal of the 148-year-old institution, the box were very well behaved. None of them came to the headmaster's office at all. Um, and I wouldn't want to tackle them if they had come. I'd have to delegate that to my deputy head, I think. The pupils of Eastbourne College were also quite taken by the green and gold. They were really lovely. They took time to talk to all their fans at the opening ceremony and seemed to really appreciate being able to meet people. It made me feel like I wanted to be a better rugby player. And it was weird seeing Francois Louis, who was like my dad's favourite um, rugby player. Out on the college fields, the Springboks have been hard at work preparing for the brave blossoms of Japan. It may seem like a very uneven contest on paper, but the Springboks will be facing a very experienced Japanese team and one that wants to be taken seriously at the Rugby World Cup. We don't know most of the guys, so it's a whole new challenge for us. I mean, playing at, at Brighton for the first time as well. So we see this as a whole new challenge. It's going to be something different for us, but we, we're really excited for it. Japan has wins over the likes of Uruguay and Georgia, but the powerful Springboks will be a whole new ball game. The Springboks will be hard pressed to find a more welcoming town than Eastbourne. It's been a gentle transition into World Cup mode on the south coast of England, but after Saturday's match against Japan, it'll be onwards and northwards to the industrial city of Birmingham. Simon Burke, SABC News, Eastbourne.